Oh, yeah. Daytime television. Now, guys don't watch too much. I realize the guys aren't into daytime TV. Most of the ladies in an audience like this don't watch either. But if anyone watches, it is mostly women. There's a lot of women-oriented shows. There's a lot of uh, pain, man. There's a lot of pain in the daytime. <laughs> a lot of tragedy, a lot of down trips. Uh, soap operas, most especially. Ladies don't even call them soap operas anymore. They call them my stories. <laughs> Call me back, Agnes. My stories are coming on. And there are lots of stories. And they all have doctors in them. Doctors in everything. Even if it's not about doctors, he'll be along. There's not much happiness in the daytime, even on the quiz shows, you know, where you'd expect to find an occasional winner and a little joy. They rarely have a winner anymore. They really don't get to play the games anymore. Damn rules take too long to explain. <laughs> By the time they get to the first question, the first question is, can you come back tomorrow? <laughs> We're out of time. <laughs> You've heard the rules. Well, you know how we play our game, don't you? The champion, Mrs. Muck and Fuss, will get the first question. <laughs> if she answers correctly, the challenger, Mrs. Fussmucker, will spin the big prize wheel to determine the champion's prize. If the wheel stops on a prize already won by the champion, she'll have to forfeit the prize and draw a number for a new category. If the wheel stops on a prize not yet won by our champion, she'll have a choice of either accepting the prize or taking a prize from the challenger's list, in which case the champion forfeits her turn and chooses the challenger's home partner from the revolving drum. <laughs> we'll call the challenger's home partner on the phone. We'll ask her 15 questions. If she can answer all of them correctly, she can select a number from 1 to 900. The champion will then spin the big prize wheel to determine the amount of money won by the challenger's home partner. Well, that's what happens if the champion answers correctly. If she answers incorrectly, she has to give us her firstborn male child. <laughs> well, it's only fair. Uh, those ladies don't risk anything, you know. I mean, they come to the studio empty-handed. And even the worst contestant of the month gets a copy of the home game. A little pat in the ass. Thank you, honey. God love you. <laughs> I'd like to see those ladies have to bring in their own furniture and bet it against the house, you know? Give a little excitement. Okay, you've lost. Take it away, boys. Your living room. Okay. Isn't she a good sport? And then there's Let's Make a Deal. The seat of greed in America. You've seen the people on uh, Let's Make a Deal. You should see the ones they don't let on the show. Take them away. Yeah, but you've got to be a little bit dingy, I think, to be 43 years old and standing up there dressed like a radish, you know? <laughs> and the ladies, God love them, they show that greed when Monty shows the money. Hi, I'm Monty Hall, and I have $500. <laughs> Not anymore, Monty. <laughs> okay, you have the $500. What would you like to do? Keep the $500, or do you want to buy what Jay has in this box? He's bringing down the aisle. Jay, you want to bring that box on down? Jay, look out for the court. Jay, look out, Jay. <laughs> Well, now we know what Jay had in the box. It was a cheese straightener. Deluxe model two. Okay, what do you want to do? Do you want to keep the cheese straightener or do you want the $500? Or do you want door number one, door number two, or door number three? Oh, Christ. Oh, Monty, Monty. What would it do us again? Two or door number three. Oh, wow. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. No, wait. Okay. Wait. Okay. All right. No, wait. Oh, wait. Monty, Monty, Monty. Door number one. Three, two, eight. No, wait. Hold on. Two. What? Wait. One or two. One, three, one, three. Wait, wait. Okay, wait. I didn't go yet. Definitely. Two, one, wait, three, wait, no. Okay, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a fella by the toe if you holler, you're out, Monty. <laughs> no. Okay, I got four. No, you don't have four. It's between two and one and three. Oh, and by the time she picks, it's anticlimactic, you know, and a little greedy. Yes, that's it, you've won a 1971 Ferrari. Oh, God, we have a small car. 